I am not exaggerating when I say that the stuff we have to show you in this video is probably the single best collection of stuff we have ever taken in at the store, and it is the most store credit we've ever given to a person for a single trade-in. What up, peeps? I like shorts. They're comfy and easy to wear. <laughs> There's a lot of stuff to tag and a lot of trades on top of this huge collection that we finished. And there is still some of it that needs to be put in the system. And there's tons of like cards and stuff that came with them all. And I'm preparing them up with the games, getting them all bagged nicely. A lot of them came with like all the cards. So it's pretty cool. And then these ones have like the little, these little things with them as well. I kind of want to buy these two bit trips. I don't collect Vita or anything, but I love bit trip. So I kind of want them so I can make a shrine for bit trip or something. I don't know. But uh, yeah, that's what we're busy with right now. And this stuff also has to be entered from that trade. guys got some awesome trades to show you you know of course you probably see those all already i'll show you these ones first so got these strategy guides paper mario looking really nice got golden eye pokemon gold and silver strategy guide this one's got the sharpie on it but still pretty cool the ruby and sapphire Fire Red and Leaf Green. Got Zelda Wind Waker, Adam's favorite game. Got the Metroid Prime and Metroid Fusion. We used to have a bit of those and then they all sold. <laughs> and got a nicer copy of the Pokemon Official Nintendo Player's Guide. Wonder if that one has more of the stickers. Last one we got had none. Got Dragon Age 2. Dragon Age Origins, Jade Empire, Lord of the Rings Conquest, Final Fantasy X, Ooh, Street Fighter II Strategy Guide, oh man, yeah I'm sure that would help. <laughs> Got Mortal Kombat 2, another Street Fighter 2, this one's for the Turbo one. Got SOCOM. U.S. Navy SEALs, Oblivion, and Halo 2. That's it for those. And we got some super. So first off, we got Monopoly. And all these are complete. And pretty much all of them are in really nice condition. There's just a couple that are in uh, poor condition, I would say. There's uh, Jungle Book. We put fair on this because there is slight tiny slight bit of wear but like other than that it's really nice got Aladdin Lion King got super black bass got cool world that one looks awesome this one is one of the poor ones it's it's got a it's you know fair share of wear on it it's not perfect, but I would say it's not bad. I would be happy with this in my collection. I got Tetris Attack. Family Feud. That one was really nice. I remember that. Wheel of Fortune. Deluxe Edition. Got Super Pinball. And got Championship Pool. And uh, I believe there was one more that uh, Cooper already told us to put off the side for him. So uh, he'll show you guys that in his like pickups video or something. But that's it for those trades. So I'm like, I'm to clip you the same exact like way. Yeah. But it's been like a couple hours. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, it hasn't been a while since you're still back and stuff, right? Yes, yes I am. Yeah, I'm making nice. 
make them look real good. I almost bought these myself, but I don't collect Vita, but I love the trip. But it's the same games I own in several different ways, so I figured. I figured it uh, keeps happening. It's so nice of you. I know. I'm not that nice. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Making this yeah. one look all pretty too. I'm trying. You're the master of bagging. Yeah, I forgot to put this card behind stuff. Oh, uh, that's okay. Yeah. It'll probably sell immediately. Yeah, true. True. Yeah, Very you can look at the soundtracks too. Uh, yeah. The soundtrack on this one is cracked on the case. Uh, yeah. Just FYI. But the special edition one is is fine. Cool. That's good. But we'll take a look at more of these uh, throughout the video. Yeah. Of course. So. Yeah. Hey guys, you probably were not expecting to to see me in the in the video. Um, but I'm still home sick with COVID. Um, I just took a shower, so I probably don't look that bad right now, but you can, you can probably hear it in my voice. Um, luckily at this point, I'm over the worst of it. Um, for me, the worst, the worst days were the first three, which for me, that was Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. It is now Sunday. So, um, I still have symptoms, but, uh, not as bad, um, but yeah, I don't know when I'm going to be back at the store. I think, um, I can't remember exactly what Abby said. I think she said it was something like, once you don't have any symptoms, then you have five days that you're supposed to quarantine. So we'll see what happens. I do still have symptoms though, so I, I don't know when I'm going to be back, but I want to be back soon because, you know, everyone needs my help and I like to like to work at the store and get stuff done. But I uh, figured I would just pop into the video here and give you guys kind of an update and just kind of let you know what's going on. So um, so Abby had COVID a couple weeks ago and I, and she, you know, she got tested, she tested positive. I got tested and I tested negative and I didn't have any symptoms. And we just thought somehow I didn't catch it. And I think I did catch it. It was just a delayed, a delayed response somehow. Um, cause it was a couple weeks ago that she had it. And now, now I have it. So, um, once you have, once you have COVID or if you've just had COVID, you kind of have like immunity for like one to three months. So Abby's not in trouble of getting it again, but obviously I can't be going to work and potentially spreading COVID to the other people that work at the store and of course can't be spreading it to our customers. Um, so I'm home and luckily, like I said, I'm feeling a little bit better. Still have some symptoms. Um, you can hear my, my voice. I'm, I'm still congested. Um, I still am waking up every morning with a headache and just like full body pain. Um, I'm like extra tired. Uh, I'm sleeping a lot more than normal even now that I'm over the worst of it, but like for the first three days, I probably slept 20, 21 hours a day. And for the other time that I was awake, I was like just completely out of it. Horrible headache, really bad, just like pain everywhere. Um, and absolutely no appetite, which for me is super, super weird. Cause I'm normally like, I'm just hungry all the time. And you always hear, you know, someone will see something gross and they're like, Oh, I just lost my appetite. And that was like my only experience with no appetite kind of thing. And when people say that, I don't think that that's, that's really not having an appetite because this is the first time I've experienced actually not having an appetite. I did not, I basically didn't eat anything for three days and I was not hungry. Super, super weird. Um, so like, I was drinking water and, but in, in those first three days I was sleeping a ton, so I didn't have time to eat, but, um, I just wasn't hungry. It was super, super weird. And the first day Abby made me some split pea soup. I think I had like five spoonfuls of that. And then the next day, <laughs> that was the first day. The next day I had one little tiny cup of oranges and one little tiny cup of applesauce. And that was it. And then, and I had to force myself to eat those. And then the third day I was feeling a little bit better. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to, I'm going to make some, some toaster strudels. So I put two of them in the, in the toaster, 
got them out, got the little icing things. I, you know, put it on there. I sat down and I almost ate one of them. And that was all I ate for three days. It was really, really weird to not feel hungry with, you know, having not eaten for three days. So I'm going to stop rambling, let you guys get to back to the video, but just want to let you know that I'm doing all right. Uh, I still have, still have some congestion, still have headache and body pain and stuff, but um, I'm feeling a lot better than I was. And hopefully I'll be back at the store soon. All right, guys, got more awesomeness for you. So uh, back here, we have some big Wim Jammers um, collectors uh, boxes. Um, of course, they come with the cards. Um, we don't have prices on them yet, but once you guys see this, they should be priced and on the website. So if you want to know the price, you'll unfortunately have to look it up. But let's start with these other Vita games that are priced. So these ones are all sealed. First, we got uh, Factor, oh wait. Factotum 90? Yeah. Uh, Odd World Munch's Odyssey. Yeah. And all these, I believe, have their cards as well uh, packaged with them. This one comes with a soundtrack. Uh, the same one that I showed you first, Factum 90, whatever it's called. This one has like a slip cover on it. Skull Girls Second Encore. Okay, then Rock. Boshers Director's Cut DX. That one's interesting looking. Uh, Core Xlier Sigma? I don't know what that one is called. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, Mecho Tales. Oh, that's kind of cool. uh, Mecho Tales again. So I don't know if some of these are. Yeah, so. Yeah, I don't know. This one has like a slip cover that this one doesn't, maybe? I don't know. Fallen Legion, uh, Stealth Inc, a clone in the Dark Unlimited Edition, or Ultimate Edition, sorry, Drive Girls, that one's gotten expensive, Got Home, a unique horror adventure, Sky Force Anniversary, Mutant Muds Deluxe, Mutant Muds Super Challenge, uh, Oregon Trail, <laughs> that is cool. Oh man, I wish it wasn't so much, or I would probably get that. That's cool. And got Revenant Saga, and Risk of Rain. That's it for the sealed ones there. I mean, I guess we might have some more sealed in there, but these ones are all used, but uh, this one like has a little card with it, so we put it in a baggie. Uh, what does that say? Soldner, Salt, Soldner? I don't know. X2, whatever that is. Bard's Gold. Uh, what is this? Aqua Kitty DX. That one sounds cool. Uh, Steam World Heist or something like that. I don't know what that says. Yeah, Heist. Steam World Dig, a fistful of dirt. Got uh, Claire Extended Cut. Cool. Got the Jack and Daxter collection. Got, uh, what is this? Velocity 2X. Got Shovel Knight. That one's cool. Got Angry Birds Star Wars. Got Final Fantasy X and X2. Um, I think this had a code when it first came out, so I don't know if it has both. Yeah. So X2 was on the code, so um, that's probably not there anymore, just to warn you guys. Got Nova 111, Vegas Party, and uh, Hotline Miami, yeah, Collection, Collected, yeah, what is it? Collected Edition? What the heck? Alright, well this one's a PAL or um, Japanese copy, this one is a PAL copy. I'm not sure what else was, but yeah. All right, then we got the sealed eight, uh, the eight bit trip. Um, there's two different ones. Uh, this one's eight bit trip, special limited edition. Uh, this one is just the eight bit trip one plus, I think. Yeah, there's those, and they come with three soundtracks each. And I believe we actually already showed these, so I'll stop talking about those. I uh, got Super, uh, 
what is that? Hydra, Super Hydra, and sealed. Pretty cool. Got one more dungeon. Pretty cool. I think these ones are open, just to let you know. Unepic. Fast Striker Limited Edition. That looked, that looked like a Y up there. That looks weird. All right, got Halloween Forever. Sorry, we keep putting the cards in front. I wasn't the one that did that. <laughs> uh, Tachyon Project. Uh, Rev, Reverie Limited Edition, whatever that is. Cursed Castilla, Castilla. Um, Sir Eats A Lot, that one sounds really cool. Slain, Back From Hell, Signature Edition. This one comes with a pick, I guess. It's pretty cool. Pal cotton. Got Shantae, Half Genie Hero. And got Axiom Verge. And I believe that's it for those. Pretty cool trade and I must say. Mean Dad Series Finale. <laughs> What is that haircut? <gasps> Who cut your hair like that? Mom did it! She said I could have my mohawk! You freaking kidding me? No! You look like an idiot! No! That's it, this is the last straw. You're not my son anymore. I'm putting you up for adoption. No! Come on, put those back, we're leaving. You're never gonna see me again after this. Can you hurry up? You small. So, what happened today, guys? Uh, so. A big monster came. The the building almost burnt down. Really? And, yeah, yeah. It was Godzilla. He almost like burnt it down with his mega breath. And, but then Mothman yeah. came. I meant Mothra. <laughs> yeah, and uh, they started fighting, and they they became friends and had ice cream party and left, and so we we were safe again. Can they yeah. make a baby? They made a baby, they made a moth, mm -hmm. a moth Godzilla, Godzilla thing, and uh, it's a Godzilla with wings like a moth, and it doesn't have a mouth, it has like one of those, like little... Ugh. <laughs> thing. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's really yeah. cool. Nice. Yeah. yeah. But it can only eat giant flowers, so it's gonna die yeah, soon. Yeah, it's, it's gonna die, yeah. Dang, that's sad. But, you know, it's okay. Circle of life. Circle it's of life. It's a circle yes. of life. Or rather, the dot of life, because there's no <laughs> circle happening. Yeah, yeah. And then I wasn't here this morning, and then Abby left when I got here, so. Yeah. When you got here, it got all boring. Yeah. It did. It did. It's typical when I get here. That's okay. That's okay. We can live with it. Okay. We still love it. <laughs> Guess what time it is? It's trade time. All right, let's get the boring stuff out of the way. We've got uh, Lego Jurassic World for PlayStation 4, Skylander Swap Force for Xbox One. I actually didn't know that they made Skylanders games for the Xbox One. Uh, SingStar 80s for PlayStation 2, Xbox 360, Zumba Fitness World Party, Zumba Fitness Join the Party for a week, Fallout New Vegas. The Elder Scrolls V Skyrim, Battlefield, Bad Company, 2. Dishonored, oh, Fable The Journey for Connect. Uh, this is like a rail shooter. I don't think it was very good. Um, PlayStation 3, Final Fantasy XX2, uh, Skyrim Legendary Edition for the Xbox 360. Ooh, The Sims busting out for Nintendo GameCube. This is a guilty pleasure. Naruto Clash of Ninja Revolution 2. All right, The Sims 3, and sealed copies of PS5 Guardians of the Galaxy and The Outer Worlds. And then over here, we've got Donkey Kong Country for the Super Nintendo, a classic. We've got Animal Crossing, uh, Welcome Amiibo, Pac-Man Collection, Life Yahtzee Payday Mix Game, and Donkey Kong Country for uh, Game Boy Advance. All 
right, and some systems that we got. We got this awesome Game Boy Color, the lime color. This is what I had growing up. We've got this cool white Game Boy Advance, and it looks pretty clean for, you know, being a white system. We've got this Japanese imported PS Vita that is lime green on the back. I love that color so much. And then finally over here, we've got this uh, PlayStation 4 controller charging station. We've got a PS5 media remote. So that's pretty cool. If you've managed to get your hands on a PS5, you might want to pick that up. And finally, da 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 da, this ridiculous <laughs> sensor bar holder. Uh, it's Darth Vader, and you put the little sensor bar inside of the lightsaber that he's holding. The box is super beat up, but here on the back you can see Vader with his little lightsaber. So, uh, thanks for watching, guys. Oh God, he's. <laughs> He's to asking us at gunpoint. Um, what's sold today? Uh, uh, Destiny PlayStation Pro. Yeah, that yeah. was pretty cool. That was expensive. That was like yeah. 400 or something. Yeah, yeah and was he was really happy with it. Yeah, and he then, was super happy. Okay, um, he's putting the gun away. <laughs> we, all, <laughs> we also sold like a Switch controller, the, the Smash Brothers Switch Pro controller yes. with uh, a blue and red neon controller with it. Joy Cons. The classic all, Joy Cons. All in the box. Yeah. And, um, um, and then a Monster Hunter uh, Switch, yes. and that's got Magnamello on the back. I'm pretty sure that's his name. And we still um, have another one of those in stock still. Yeah, yeah, it's really legit. I wish we had the Pro Controller. My brother actually managed yeah. to get the Pro Controller, yeah. and it's just, it's sick. It There's awesome. two of them now. Yeah. Um, a guy bought a bunch of Pokemon stuff, like he bought Emerald, and he oh. also bought an import of Emerald. Nice. Yeah, yeah both? <laughs> yeah. In, what? Yeah. In his words, yeah. it was for leaps and giggles. Yeah. <laughs> so we were like, okay, uh, yeah. Nice. Uh, he also got that uh, Platinum that had, like, the sticker ripped off. Nice. Yeah. And it just, somebody had written in ballpoint pen on the sticker residue, Pokemon. Yeah. <laughs> so it was like, that, valiant effort. <laughs> that was actually my nephew's uh, copy. Uh, what? Yeah, they brought it in and sold it. <laughs> yeah, he was yeah, like, nice. I don't care, it's platinum. Yeah. It's like, yeah. I'm glad that sold because I was a little worried. Yeah. <laughs> um, and some, really... some GameCube controllers. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. One of the Japanese emerald blue ones, yeah, which box, it, it's yeah. one of my favorite colors. Like, yeah. it's so gorgeous. And we've Anyone. just been selling a lot of GameCube stuff lately. Yeah, yeah we sold some GameCube games, I believe, as well. I remember I, I, I came in and I saw him, he's, he was in the store like for an hour after he bought it and I, he was talking to his friend and he's like, I can't believe I, I own this color now, like I've been wanting this color forever or yeah. something like that. I was That's like, awesome. nice. Good. Good. And in the box, sweet. Heck yeah. I'm actually really stoked about, we got that white uh, Game Boy Advance, uh, or excuse oh, me, yeah. yeah, Game Boy Advance. Mm -hmm. um, and it's just, I've never seen like a white one mm. before. Yeah. I really nice. like it, yeah. yeah. And it's just so easy for white stuff to get stained yeah, right. and like yeah. with gamer cheese. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, the guy who was buying the white PS4 was a little worried about that. Yeah. So I pulled out like the controller for him and he looked at the console too and nice. he, was, he was very happy. That's good. Yeah. yeah. I just wish there was a way to like easily clean it because you yeah. can't like. No, yeah. not easily, no. <laughs> I got, I bought one of those white Game Boy Advances on eBay mm -hmm. and I ended up completing it with a box too, but it came with like that Intech grip, oh. the, the charging one, and it yeah. still like holds a charge and like, I, I'll, and I haven't even played it for a while, I'll, I'll turn it on and it still turns on and it'll, it'll charge still. Oh, and it's like, it's like what, 15 yeah. years old, 20 years old, yeah, and awesome. it still works. It's like, nice. Pretty. Yeah. They must have taken really good care of it then. Yeah. yeah. Well, I think that's it for all the cool stuff we sold. For now. All for the stuff now. that I can think of, yeah. Yeah, until I buy something. Yeah. yeah. Also, look at what I'm taking home. Oh, what'd you steal? <laughs> it's, speaking of GameCube. Yeah. Extension? It's an extension Go cord. Extension. Nice. And you can plug it into itself. Yeah. Keeps it that's nice and inappropriate. <laughs> All right, guys, we got a bunch to show you here, and we have just a help. Hey. Yeah, so uh, 
let's get started. I guess I'll start back here. Yeah, we got some consoles, and we also have a couple games that are gonna go on eBay. This one, the SNK Gals Fighters, and the Samurai, this Samurai Showdown, are going on eBay because we couldn't find listings for them, so they're just gonna be, I think, bid, bid offs. So happy bidding on those. Um, and then, of course, they got the cool consoles. I like the one with Sonic on there. That's pretty awesome. And this and one was that one. Uh, Puzzle Link. All right, is that loose one? So we do have some Japanese. Uh, most of them are PAL. Mm -hmm. uh, we have one English one here. Uh, these cardboard ones are all Japanese, and then the clamshells, I believe, are all PAL. Nice. All right, let's get through these. Got Del Sol 2. Got uh, Puzzle Link T, or yeah, just Puzzle Link, the Japanese import. Got Baseball Stars Color. And Neo Geo Cup 98. And Dynamite Slugger. Uh, cool Borders Pocket. That's pretty cool. And what is this one? Magical Drop. Ooh, that's cool. That's a good one. Right, then we got Neo Dragons Wild. This is another Samurai Showdown, but it's Samurai Showdown 2, and we have another Samurai Showdown 2. These are uh, variants. Uh, one's a little different from the other. Um, I'm not sure why they're different. I think one was like a rental thing or something. I'm not sure. We looked it up uh, and we figured it out, but yeah. Anyways, King of Fighters R. Metal Slug First Mission, very good game. Got Pac-Man. And then we got Puzzle Bobble Mini, very cool. And, and then in these stacks yeah. we have Final Fury First Contact. Yeah. We have Turf Masters. Nice. King of Fighters R2. Neo Mystery Bonus. Neo Cherry Master Color. Uh, Pocket Tennis. King of Fighters R2. And we got Neo Geo Cup 98. Yeah. This is the English one. This is uh, Cherry Master. Yeah, that's the only American one we got. And then we got Card Fast or no, Card Fighters Clash. Yeah, nice. And then Card Fighters Clash. Capcom, Capcom Fighters. Yeah. Nice. All right, and then got, the expensive. Yeah, stack. this Sonic Pocket Adventure. Puyo Pop. Very good game. Um, SNK versus Capcom. The match of the millennium. Mm -hmm. Very cool. Baseball Stars. Mm -hmm. Crush Roller. That looks cute. <laughs> <laughs> Biomotor Unitron. Unitron. Metal Slug Second Mission. Very nice. Then we got Puzzle Link 2. Pocket Tennis. La the Last Blade, Beyond the Destiny. Yeah, getting, or getting Destiny. real expensive here. And then the final big boy. Yeah. Fantastic Night Dreams Cotton. Very cool. Yeah, I was uh, interested in this game, and then Abby told me the price, and then I wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, uh, just let you guys know, a lot of these cotton games are coming out on the Switch, so, you know. There's other ways. You might wanna, you, yeah, you might want to start picking them up before they get expensive like this one. But yeah, that's it for the Neo Geo Pocket stuff. Hi. Hello. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All right. You guys know what time it is. It's time for question of the day. Question yeah. of the day. Yeah. <laughs> all right. I don't stutter at all. Yeah. <laughs> I wasn't making fun of you. I'm sorry. You okay. were me. <laughs> so, um, Kingdom of Nerddom actually asked this question. Yeah. He is another member of our Discord. Uh, like it's on my phone. Yeah. My Discord. <laughs> um, so, what is a game and or series that you grew up with that's been dormant and would like to see get a sequel or even a remake for modern systems? Nice. And let's start with Ryan. Yeah, so you guys probably already know what my answer is. Mario RPG, yeah. yeah. So there's like been like, 
what, you, what you would you call it, like, games that, like, kind of pertain to Mario RPG, but it's not the same, because it's not made by Square, you know? Beard so, Soul successors. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Like so, Mario and Mar Luigi, yeah. Superstar Saga, yeah. stuff like that. People also say Paper Mario is a successor as well, and I don't think so at all. It's not, they're not the same at all. <laughs> they're wrong. <laughs> <laughs> I want, I want uh, Square to make another one. Yeah. I've seen awesome. a lot of, like, cool, like, people remake the game. Mm. There was one on yeah. Twitter that I saw, like, and he's still working on it, and he, I don't know what he's making it in, but it looks super good. Yeah. It's like the same exact art style, oh, it's like redone. Yeah. That's nice. cool. Looks good. That's cool. That'd be great. Yeah, that one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but you just and uh, my game would be um, Wario Woods. Yes. There hasn't been one since the Super, and it's a great game that needs to come back. Yes, it they does. haven't even done like a not WarioWare game for Wario in a while, have they? Uh, well, they, just... they did uh, the it... Wario uh, to get it together uh, for the Switch. Oh. What is uh, Wario Woods? Wario Woods is a puzzle game. It yeah. has like. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Uh, little monsters and bombs fall, and you have to explode the little monsters with the bombs. I had yeah. no idea. I thought it was just... You're, you're usually in a tree. <laughs> yeah, right. You're playing as Toad, and you're going well, against Wario. Yeah, nice. so yeah. Your, your main character is Toad. Yeah. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. We were just talking really about Toad important. being in Super Smash Brothers. Oh, like, why great. isn't he? Yeah. yeah. We need more Toad <laughs> games. Where's the Toad love? Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Where's that <laughs> I want a shirt that says Toad love. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be yeah. amazing. We should make merch for that. We should. We should. We should. You guys can't steal can, it either. We can put like a the toad hat on DJ. Oh, yeah. oh, that's yeah. a great yeah. idea. Yeah. <laughs> Get on it. All right. So, look forward to that. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I want Moonmaker to be on Switch. Yes. And we were blessed with Klonoa, so I mean, we could always use a, a third game or, or the GBA games. Yes. Yeah. Um, uh, Kid Icarus. Yeah. Uh, Ooh. More Kid Icarus. Yeah. yeah cool. There should be more Kid Icarus. Yeah, for sure. Nice. Nice. Yeah. Um, so I was just telling these guys I've been really lucky because Pokemon and Zelda are my childhood games, mm. and there's no end to those in sight. So I am. I'm just very lucky about that. <laughs> but I would like to see. Um, a, okay. So I used to play this game called Cats with a Z mm, yeah. when I was younger, yeah. um, and it never wanted to work on my computer. But whenever I could get it to work, it was all I did was just play this game. Um, and we there's a lot of like horrible <laughs> Game Boy Advance games for it. Um, but thinking like Nintendo Dogs, like I just I want another game where I take care of a bunch of animals and I can pet them. Yeah. It's like Zoo Tycoon and stuff. It's just not the same, you know. Mm -hmm. Like it's just not. I want to, I want to interact with the creature. I like, want to get close to it. Yes. And like with the Switch, they have the touch screen so you could actually pet them. Exactly, oh, yes. yeah. Come on. And you know, just, just, you know, stuff like that. And uh, this isn't really part of it. <laughs> <laughs> I want a dedicated chow garden from the Sonic <gasps> games. I agree. Because, yes. and this is something that I've wanted for so long and I know that Sega would just like, they would just pull so much money out of me in particular. <laughs> if they just, just if they, to, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, Sega, make an app. Like make yeah. a chow garden oh, app. Oh man. The microtransactions would kill oh, me and yeah. I would keep paying it from the grave. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, I gotta take care of my chows. Yeah. <laughs> like, nice. Do it, nice. anyway. We're That's good. We're just feeding Sega these ideas that are gonna yeah. bankrupt everyone. Right? <laughs> don't even take it. They don't even take it. They keep making bad Sonic <laughs> games. <laughs> everyone keep everyone tag Sega on Twitter and tell them to make a Chow Garden game. Yeah. yeah. Please steal our ideas. Yes. Please spread yes. them. <laughs> Except for the shirt idea. That's ours. Yeah, yeah. No, that's ours. <laughs> <laughs> Think about it. Uh, yeah. But yeah, I want to take care of little guys. <laughs> yeah. Please let me. <laughs> Please like. Comment. Yeah. Yeah, like, comment, subscribe. subscribe. Join the Discord. Yeah. Hopefully the videos next week will be a little better. Yeah. I'm kind of yeah. down people, so. Cooper's yeah. dying. Sorry yeah. for the low quality. Yeah, yeah, he is doing better. Yeah. yeah. It's not low quality. It's just, yeah. it's hors d'oeuvres. It's, <laughs> it's just different. It's, yeah. It's just, just different. It's just, it's just crappier. <laughs> no. No. Still <laughs> high quality, just this big. I mean, like, just the stuff we got today was incredible, though. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. The, all the Vita stuff and Neo Geo. Yeah. Oh man, like, we did get sure. a lot of amazing things. I think I'm entitling it like the biggest Vita and Neo Geo collection we ever got. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like 
because I'm pretty sure that's true. Like, I don't I think, think I, I think so. That yeah. many Vita games at once. I don't know that anybody games. has this yeah. many Vita games. Unless you count all the like sealed ones that we bought a long time ago. Yeah, but when, even that's but like, they're, like from distributors. Right? Yeah, yeah, it's definitely so, yeah, it's like it's quantity. Different. Yeah, definitely the biggest trade. Yes, yes. That's insane. For sure. And Ooh, man, that that Neo Geo Pocket will never have a bigger <laughs> trade in of those again. And more than half will probably sell. Within 24 hours. Yes. Yeah. Uh, yeah, we already sold a couple this morning. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Man, I feel like the way we're lined up right now, we're like a character selection screen. Yeah. Like, Choose your fighter. player. And then like, <laughs> yeah. yeah. So we got we got fighter, we got monk, we got <laughs> wizard, and we got cleric. Nice. <laughs> so we've got a full team. Heck yeah. <laughs> choose your right. choose your player. Yeah. Let yeah. okay. us know in the comments about that too. Who yeah. Would, who would you want on your team? Yeah. <laughs> Clerics four. don't do this. Clerics are like oh. this. Uh, <laughs> what, what was I again? Stop. You're a fighter. Yeah, you're a fighter. You can punch. Yeah. You, or you would be like a barbarian, so like an axe. Yeah. yeah. Give, me, give me this. I'll give us someone. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. See you guys. Bye. Like, comment, subscribe. <laughs>